we have a situation where we've got a boatload of missing property, some of which occurred because of a judge who was just plain mad she didn't get her way. She allowed fraud by consequence, which makes her responsible as well. The question here is how many other people participated? Because we've got some people in the prosecutor's office who knew about the situation. It's a crime to knowingly allow fraud by consequence. You can be charged with collusion for it. I'm disabled and requested accommodation and never obtained it from the court and cast. There's a boatload of missing property that was supposed to, if they had helped me with my guardianship and in my probate issues like Cass County Clerk was supposed to, I would have all of my property. So this is an issue not of my doing. We've got some people here who caused me to lose property because they knew about it and failed to help me after I requested assistance as a disabled person. Not just the clerks, but also the judges here. So we've got some problems with some missing property that these guys knowingly caused me to lose. So I've got damages where that's concerned. The situation with Tiara now will more than likely work itself out because she's still a ward of the state, according to what Mr. Ryder told me. I've put in my paperwork, which verifies I've been stable with an income, and there's no need for them to, to be concerned about returning her. I've had stable homes since October. I've secured a stable income so they don't have to worry about her starving. And all these issues have been resolved where TR is concerned. So there's really no need for them to keep her anymore. So they're more than likely going to give her back because they don't want to pay for TR. So there resolves that situation. But we have the next one that we have to work on, which is where's my property? I'm going to file for probate, but before I do that, I'm going to give people an opportunity because there's going to be some people that are going to go to jail if they don't give back my property. So there's a laundry list of property that was missing. So we're just going to sit back and wait. And in a minute, we're going to file the probate. When I do that, they're going to do a title search and they're going to do it on taxes. And there's going to be some people that are going to be in some big trouble because there's a lot of property that's missing. And somebody has been taking the property and either selling it or giving it away. Whichever the case may be, they were not allowed to do that. So all of the property that was involved in me, in my case, will be reported stolen. There's a laundry list of antiques along with property like land that's going to be replaced. Some of which I have pictures of people having them in their house. Some of which did that on Facebook and other social media outlets. So now they're in huge trouble because we have evidence that they took the stuff. And I've been taking snapshots the whole time. So we've got a situation where, again, some people are going to go to jail. I've got missing artwork, and I have pictures of people who have that. We've got missing land, and we know what happened to that, some of it. We've got missing other missing items that are very, very expensive. And the majority of the people that stole them cannot afford to give them back, so they're more than likely going to be going to jail. But the question is how many and um, how long is it going to take? Because probate can be, you can file for probate 30 years after a person dies. You can also request that probate be fixed or altered or changed due to new evidence. It doesn't matter when. There's no statute of limitations for that. It's just when it's discovered. And anybody who's stolen property in the course of that will be prosecuted. 
Now, if we've got a case here where the prosecutor can't do anything because there's a conflict of interest, by law, he's supposed to pass the buck and give that to the, somebody who's within jurisdiction who can um, assist it without conf assist, assist in the prosecution without conflict. That's going to happen. I've got at least five counties where there's land that's not been um, been handed over, along with a safety deposit box that I happen to know about, which is probably documented in probate with regards to Ward Bell. Because everybody that's involved in that estate knew that he was just holding my property as an executor to my grandmother Faith Fox estate and has been handing out and selling property. The, his, his people have been. They're in huge trouble because they knew that property didn't belong to them. It belonged to me and my cousin Beth from my grandma Fox um, estate. The reason Faith, Faith or Annette's kids didn't want any because they're related to Kim, uh, to um, Kenny Ting. That's their dad, and he he's got he's like a billionaire out of China. So and he's Mister Anti Corruption from China. He works for the Chinese government. They don't need any money. And then you've got um, David who was pushed out of the situation because of what he's done in the past with regards to molest and abuse. He also, according to his daughter, physically abused him as well. So because of that, because of his physical abuse towards me and Steve, David's out of the loop. So the only person that would be left would be me to handle the situation. Steve is declared mentally ill, according to the courts and Social Security, so he's not to be allowed. He's also a victimizer, which makes him ineligible. Rich, because he stole my property already, would no longer be eligible to be overseer. So we've got an issue here as to who would be overseer. And that would actually wind up being me because I don't have any record to keep them from that. So we'll have to see what goes on. But I know that I'll be pressing charges on anybody who's in possession of any of the property. And they will be doing a title search. Not only that, um, anybody who's hacked into anything that's changed any stuff, now they're very well aware of it because it was caught at the library yesterday in the act of me being hacked at the library. So we've got some issues there to discuss. God bless America. Have a blessed day. And back the badge.